We're here with another installment of the best of 2023 series, low spin drivers, seeking as much distance as we can get off the tee here. We've got Kevin Kraft, and we've got six models from 2023 that we're gonna test. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You like this video, or then you tell us in the comments which of these six drivers is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter from Columbia here at Minnetonka in the tour van today because we have six new low spin drivers to compare in the best of series. Six models, um, we're gonna put you to the task of hitting a lot of tee shots, which it is later in the afternoon today and we have already done a lot of testing with Kevin today. So um, I, 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 you know, I, I hope the comments are not harsh in any way, not that they ever have been, but this is a, uh, it's been a long day. And of course we're saving the most grueling test perhaps oh, yes. for last. That's, so that's how that goes. Um, yeah. So six models here. Yeah. Um, talk to me about just this category, yeah. um, what you've noticed this year. And then I think really, I, I know you're kind of border, you've been in low spin before, yeah. but now you're kind of yeah. maybe out of it, but this is really where you better have some swing speed to get the ball enough yeah. height and spin there. These are the least forgiving drivers yeah. out there. Um, they tend to be a little more right side biased mm -hmm. than than the standard versions the big thing though to me is we're seeing way less of a spread in spin numbers now between the harder to hit models and the easier to hit models sure because these days you're able to get you can have your cake and eat it too you can have a a very forgiving driver that spins very low right so the question will be does this spin too little mm -hmm. right um, I use these a lot to help people that maybe are hooking the ball. Yeah. You know, because uh, something like this is a little harder to square up. So that that plays in a, in a good space for yes. a lot of people. Um, looks wise, these tend to, to my eye to look a little bit better. They tend to look more compact. Yes. Deeper faces. So there's not as much on the on the backside. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, promoting lower launch, lower spin. So, you know, I'll be interested to see after we go through these, you know, the comparison on what those what those spin numbers were because all the standard models didn't spin right. all that much. Yeah, we did the, yeah. the model, the, I guess, high MOI or the yeah. standard models yeah. test, and we had a lot of spin rates, some below 2,000, yeah. some just above 2,000. Yeah. And so, as you talked about in that video, you can really only go down with the lowest spin series. So it will be interesting. I know yep. one in particular we're looking at is TSR3 with yep. the TSR2 being right at two, round 2000 yeah. there and has been a killer already this year in fittings. Yeah. So um, with that said, the six models we have today are the Ping G430 LST, the ZX5 Mark II LS from Strixon, the Cobra Aerojet LS, the Paradigm Triple Diamond from Callaway, the Titleist TSR3, and the TaylorMade Stealth 2 Plus um they're all here because they're a popular yep. and in high demand and yep. people are aware of them and b they've performed really well in the fitting bay they have. so now we get to figure out and, and dive into it and then we also get to do a little bit of ranking at the end of yeah. this so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of maybe differentiate you know some of them a little bit but. yeah we'll see what uh see what our thoughts are are you ready to swing a lot of times sure i'm hoping sure. yes yeah. okay yeah, sure. okay <laughs> <laughs> I think I've seen 160.4 every time. <laughs> okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah. So it is to, okay, I, this was the same thing that happened with the Max G430. <laughs> same thing, it was 149 every single time. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. So there's our thing. Yeah, what, what do we say? It was maybe a little more right side biased. Yeah. Um, I'm telling you I folks, did have the Kevin set Kraft in neutral, knows what he's talking about. So, yeah. I pretend well. Yeah. You pretend well. Yeah, I pretend well. 160 ball speed, 272 yep. carry, 301 total. Um, pretty consistent. If we bring it up, some of these other numbers, we can see the launches. I mean, lower than we're used to, landing angle shallower than we're used to, but these are low spin heads. Yep. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, how about sound, feel, look, anything else that Sounds you Sounds fantastic. Uh, yeah. Really, it feels as stable as the Max does. Yeah. Um, I like the look a little bit better with the carbon fiber here. Um, you know, sometimes that, that division between 
one surface and another is distracting. Yeah. This one I don't really pretty clean. It, with it that blends one. pretty well. Yeah. So um, I, I just I like it. I think it looks. Doesn't good. seem it's as it's as stark of a line. No, as it's not maybe for has sure. I mean, drivers. you're going from from black to a. To a it's a, not like the dark. old uh, M1, M2. Where, right. You know, right. Yeah. You got that sure. thick white striper on the leading edge there. Yeah, for sure. Um, so. Okay. Yeah. We'll move on to driver number two, which is the ZX5 Ooh, Mark right. II LS. Cool. So this one I have spent a little bit of time with, and I, I quite like this driver. I don't know if it's any other club, but the swing gets that I thought you were going to type in ZZ Top, but I figured that was another band you'd never heard of. Uh, I, what? <laughs> what was the band name? ZZ Top? No. No? No. ZZ top, is that what it, is that what I'm, am I saying it right? It just no. gets it just gets worse. It just gets worse. <laughs> I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm just I'm. This is actually my shocked face. I am absolutely I'm just shocked. You shouldn't be shocked. Rush ZZ top. I mean. Jimi Hendrix. All right, so what year were you born? 95. I'm just going to shut up and hit my driver now. That was a bit toey. Toey, but, I mean, that doesn't stink. Yeah, I mean, for, for a miss. Yeah. I'll take that. It's in the fairway. Mm-hmm. I actually think I popped that one up. Uh, if those are two misses. Those mm -hmm. are two really good misses for a low spin head. Yeah. Yep. yep really yep. good. Your carry distance was the same on both, essentially. That felt like it came off <laughs> like pushing, pushing the top of the crown there. Well, you could have fooled me. Hmm. I have to I have to say though, um, for a club that you clearly didn't put your best swings on, yeah, um, one four nine to one four five smash, you didn't really lose a ton, and you no. actually hit it straighter yeah. than the ping, um, and pretty consistently too. You yeah. lost five yards of carry on I, average. I apologize that I did not treat you better. Uh, All right, yeah. we're going to get that club out of your hands. Yes, let's do that. And we're going to go to something that you would like a little oh, better. Oh, hello. Okay. Aerojet. Yep, 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 yep. LS. Yeah. So I've not spent any time with the LS. Okay. Because I didn't find there to be a, a particular reason for me to spend time with the LS. Mm -hmm. I, I worked with the LS in the LTDX, and I could never turn it over. <laughs> so... So a lot of confidence going into this then. Yeah, well, I, I, it's an unknown, so yeah. I'm not going to pass judgment on it until I actually hit it. Sure. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That was a little better. Seeing that low ball flight and kind of some lower spin. Yep. Which yep. We knew it was coming. But. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. We're seeing low ball flight and yep. we're seeing the right bias. Yep. There's our screen. So okay. coming into play numbers wise, we are actually, that was the highest spinning uh, of the mall of the mall so far. Yeah. <clears throat> but consistent though, in the sense of the smash factor is pretty consistent. Yep. You're hitting it pretty yep. solid. Um, consistently the lowest launching so far, mm. and the height was also the lowest. Yeah. So. A little problematic, all that. Yeah, that's yeah. why you play the standard model. Yeah, that is that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. With some legs. There we go. <sighs> That one is not going left. No. Okay. But it's, uh, cool. it's fine. So, Paradigm? Triple Paradigm. Diamond. Triple Diamond. Um, pretty good. 
Yeah. I think we're distance wise, that was definitely the furthest. Now it also, you were swinging the fastest, so it yes. plays into it, but yes. the most efficient so far at 150 on average. Remember to use legs. <laughs> yeah. That I helps mean, too. I got, I got nothing here, right? So if I'm not using this, I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so if the legs aren't driving, there ain't, there ain't gonna be much I there. I mean, hey, this is, this is pretty good to get the ball over 300 yards on average with the club is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm happy another that. kind of low launcher though, Yeah. right? So low launch in and, and lowest height so far. It's most shallow landing angle. So imagine what things I could do to if I note. That up a little bit. Yeah, if I get yeah. that up a little bit, there's more in there for sure. So things to note. Um, we got two more though. Yeah. Let's get to the TSR three. TSR tree. That would also, yeah, that dog will also hunt. Yes. This is going to be interesting if we get a higher spin rate with the TSR three. Think he's done it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. We're gonna bring it up. All right. Yep. Yep. There we go. It was low. Yes. Another definitely lower. Low. Yeah. Ten and a half. Seventy nine. The spin was still high, but consistent. Look at that. High. Well, higher. <laughs> I guess. Then it's yeah. it's higher than the TSR two that we tested, which is. Again, probably a subject or a result of not a lot of a, a small sample size, but yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, this is what we have so far. Okay, pretty good, consistent. Yeah, straightest probably so far. Yeah, with one left, the Stealth Plus. So, yes and no, because if if I can get better numbers making an adjustment to a driver head. Yeah. Whichever driver head I decide to go with, okay, I will I will hit a few more shots to try to mm, okay. maximize a little bit more. That came off the top neck of the golf club. Ugh. Really? Yeah. Right about there. Well, still performed okay. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think I saw that backswing go back a little farther that time, and it worked. Yeah, give me one more. That is maybe the best ball of the day. Yep. Oh, baby. Okay, little hanger. Little but, went out to the right. But that was, club head speed's good. So, all right, let's look at the numbers quick. And what we're gonna okay. do, I know you you mentioned it kind of off or between clubs there a little bit, but yeah. um, we'll find the best performer. We'll rank our top three performers here. Okay. And then uh, from there, you're gonna make an adjustment to the number one performer, see how, what we can really get distance-wise. So, it's got dispersion. Yep. Got the data. What I like is there's really just only a few balls out to the right, which really isn't, isn't too bad. Right. Yeah, for, I mean, clearly old, there is that. For an old fat guy making, you know, 175, 200 swings in a day, that's No, that's, that's not hey, yeah. that we need to, I'm sure, I'm, I'm hoping the, the viewers will leave a comment and show some respect <laughs> to Mr. Kraft for swinging as much as he has today. I know they, they don't have the context of how many swings we've had today because this is just a video <laughs> yeah, published on yeah. a singular day. Yeah. But. Uh, it's been a yeah, lot. <laughs> been a lot of swings. So. And you, actually, it's your idea here to swing more yeah, with, a, yeah. with an adjustment. So I'm glutton uh, for punishment. So which of these, you'll let's rank a top three here, performance, out of the, the six drivers in the test. Paradigm TD. Number one? Yep. Stealth 2 Plus. Yep. And um, honestly, I gotta go G430 LST. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, those were... So we go by total distance. Those were the three that felt the best to me. Okay. And they're the ones that actually performed the best as well. Yeah. If we go by total distance, I'm pretty sure that'll line up pretty well here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Paradigm, Stealth 2 Plus, yeah. G430 LST, total yeah. distance. They're the only ones to average over 300. 
Also, it falls in line with carry distance. They're all in that category as well. The G430 yeah. did go a tad further than the Stealth 2 Plus carry, but. So let's take a look at the bigger, the bigger screen mm -hmm. and see what, okay, so it did stay in that order. So what can we affect a potential change on? Um, between these two, right, where they were both pretty low. Yeah. So that's something that we can, we can potentially change. Um, How would you go about doing that? Would you go? I'd go up and loft. Up and loft? Yeah. Okay. Just go up and loft a little bit, see if we can get. Trying to get that height closer to 100 feet? Yeah, 100 feet would be pretty much ideal, I think. So, um, you know, it, let's, let's try and see if we can get a little more out of that paradigm. Okay. Definitely took off higher. Okay. 283 carry. That's that is, I think, the farthest carry of the day a by a longer. good margin. It's a bit longer. Toe ball. Wow. Oh, I didn't hit that one very good. We've got, we've you know, got give me, let's four good ones. Let's morph this just real quick. I got a few more swings in me. I like let it. Me, let me really try and get after it. I like it. it. Keep doing it. Let me really try and get after it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Just couldn't get there. Wait, wait, two. Well. Okay. <sighs> How you doing? You <sighs> 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 need a water? I can grab a water for you. <laughs> Yeah, water with some hops and some fizziness and <laughs> <laughs> maybe a little bit of a citrus hint would be would be great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, so that'll work. We picked up seven yards of carry. Uh, interestingly, ball speed didn't really come up that much. Club head speed was really about the same. So launch is up what here. we see is two degrees in launch. You know, seven yards of carry. Feet. Yeah, I only picked up, you know, three yards in total distance. But, but seven and a half in carry. Yeah, yeah. So I knew there was more in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm going to sleep early well tonight. Yeah. Yeah. After a couple of beers. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. No, that was great. That was really good. I'm glad I got a. I got one really good one on there that, you yeah. know, sort of you sort sweating? of showcases where I'm headed. Yeah. I didn't get as much speed today as I've had in the. This one the last. here. Yeah, that so one. This one. Was, this one. Uh, no, the one above it. First, the 37 there, 287 carry, 315. I'm very happy with that, and that was right up the middle too. Which, it was. Which I like. Mr. Craft, <laughs> testing complete. I'm tired of watching, so I can't imagine how tired you are actually having <laughs> having swung all of those. But so we already talked about the performance. Yep. And we saw the gains possible with the Paradigm Triple Diamond. Yeah. You went up in loft, yep. and the result was seven more yards, well, seven and a half more yards of carry, yeah. um, three more yards total. We saw um, really that's that was optimized for you with yeah. that with the Triple yeah. Diamond head. So um, with that said. We got to talk about some other elements that people are looking for with the drivers, yep. specifically the look. So, yeah. uh, talking about appearance, that address, things like that. Do you have a favorite three models here? Yeah, um, I love the shape of the triple diamond. Mm -hmm. I think that just looks really fantastic. Yep. Um, I'll give it up to Titleist also mm -hmm. for shape and everything. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, I, I gotta go ping. Mm -hmm. I gotta go ping. I. I don't have, I have nothing against any of these, yeah. but in this particular category, I like the look of those. Right. Those three. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think, I mean, and, and, and I think people are going to notice some similarities between the high MOI ones and 
low spin in terms of your rankings a little bit. Sure. Because sure. you're the same person and you have the same preferences. Yeah. I but, had I had Cobra in my in, yeah in you the, did in no the it, standard it, versions right so it's not gonna um, be perfect yeah but. it's it's really I mean it looks the same yeah the big difference was I actually like the look with the carbon fiber on the ping so it. It throws gotcha. it over the edge a little bit. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. Um, how about uh, feel, sound? Feel and sound. How different are we in um, that? We're pretty similar. Yeah. Um, you know, Paradigm obviously was mm -hmm. was fantastic. I I like the Titleist a mm -hmm. lot. Um, actually prefer the the look, feel, sound of the two versus the three, but I okay. still think the three is 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 in that mix mm -hmm. and you know ping's really just been I, I love the feel of it sure um ball seems to come off really nicely it's very stable very forgiving mm -hmm. and uh yeah so it's it's mm -hmm. it's those three again and so i mean innovation wise we talked about all these changes a little bit yeah. in the high moi um driver yep. video best of so um, in that category, is anything different from those, or I mean, what do you got there? No, I think they're. I think we're probably about the same. Yep. Um, I know you had. I think you had the TSR two, you had the Paradigm, and the three. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So, so these three kind of yeah, ratings supreme just, again. They're the same kind of thing, just geared a little bit differently. Yep. Um, and geared for just, low spin yeah, and just geared for the performance. So, fantastic. Um, we did kind of see the trends emerge here. Uh, we did see Stealth perform really well. Maybe it did, yeah. above the. Uh, Sort of the other categories and its perform or yeah. how it rated in your rankings, yeah. but um, either way, really good stuff from all these drivers. I mean, there, yeah. there's benefits to all of them. Yep. Um, golfers just have to come in and get fit and experience it for themselves, test it for themselves and yeah. their own swing. Absolutely. Because they'll probably be a little bit different. The rankings and the performance will probably yeah. rate a little yeah. bit different. Everybody's going to be so. everybody's going to be different. I mean, um, you know, the driver I play isn't. One of the ones that I, I picked here is mm -hmm. the as the overall you know best in in look feel sound and performance and, and innovation and all that but um, there are some differences there yeah. too so you know, I've, I've got a different shaft I do play the the higher MOI head and um, yeah so it's, and they're all great. of course they're I mean all great you've got to fine tune for your game you do so. absolutely um, and we saw that going from the loft that we had it yes to adjusting up. And up to 10. We didn't see a huge jump up in spin, mm -mm. but we picked up another seven and a half yards of carry. So exactly. We won't we won't stop until every stone is turned. Exactly. So, yeah. so if you're not turning those stones for your game, then you're missing out on distance, which could turn into missing out on strokes that you could save on your score. So yep. go get fit. Yep. See someone like Kevin or yep. any of our master fitters. Get the driver that you need for your swing. Hit better tee shots, resulting in better scores, resulting in more fun resulting in um, more money, potentially, if you play for money. I don't know. We'll, we'll worry yes. about that another day. Yes. But, Kevin, thank you for joining. Um, <laughs> sure. Great stuff today. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate it.